What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another TNT with T. Today I've got Jeremiah, Jerry Johnson back here with me as my interviewee. Jerry, what are we cooking today? Today we're cooking uh, smoke cookies. Yes sir, so we, we named these smokies, they're basically like cookies with s'mores inside. Sounds delicious, I'm excited. Um, I made cookie dough last time with Ty, it didn't turn out too well, but I'm going to do it the right way today. So hopefully it'll be better. Let's get into it. <laughs> All right, y'all, so first steps first, I gotta mix the butter and the sugars into this bowl and then beat it up. So all these things here. So let me, let me just start doing that. Uh, Jerry, why don't you take this second to go and tell, uh, tell the audience a little bit about you, but in 30 seconds. All right, uh, well, I, uh, I work at Chick-fil-A. I, uh, right now I'm not doing anything. I, uh, pretty easygoing guy. I, uh, love music, any type of music you play, I'll pretty much like it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know, awesome. I like video games, like movies, like just chill people, don't like drama, <laughs> <laughs> love hamburglers. Hamburglers. Bro, Jerry says I look like the hamburglar in this shirt. <laughs> He's just in prison. <laughs> Jerry, you're a singer, aren't you? I do you sing. You used to be in a boy band? Oh god, no. <laughs> Jer yeah. Jeremiah used to be part of a band in, in high school, right? High school? Yeah, it was high school. How was that? You were famous. Uh, I was famous for about a week and then, uh, and then nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, 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 like, uh, we just basically, like, four, we had, like, <laughs> the group had so many different people in it. There was always just people coming and going. So uh, I don't think anybody really took it too serious, except me and uh, me and Cameron. <laughs> I mean, we're like we're like best friends, and we uh, I mean, we still sing together sometimes, but uh, nothing nothing boy band quality. Right. Nothing nothing to the heights of where, where we were. Our name was Fall of Gravity. Fall of Gravity. Who chose the name? Uh, one of the guys named Ryan. Yeah, he he was like, dude, this sounds so sick. And, Everybody always thought it sounded like that TV show Gravity Falls. Yeah. So everybody always related it with uh, with the TV show, so. Oh, I wasn't supposed yeah. to put the flower inside that, but I did. That's fine. All right, Jerry, if your house was burning down, right, and you could only save, oh, that's way too much. Dang, okay. And you could only save one item. It's so, like, say, like, your parents and your dogs and like, your brother was safe, and you, but you had to save, like, one, like, physical item. What item would you save? Ooh, um, well, I mean, we, like, well, that's kind of, like, a hard question, because, like, we do have, like, ashes in the house and stuff with family members, <laughs> so I think I might grab, like, ashes, like, my like my grab, ashes. grab grandpa. <laughs> yeah, grab, yeah, exactly. You can grab your, your great-grandfather and run out the door. But to, let's say, like, they were safe and, like, my dad grabbed them or something. Right. Um... Shoot, it would have to be something sentimental to me, like, uh, I don't know, something that has memories. All my textbooks can for sure burn. <laughs> That's the first, I'm leaving, my, I'm making sure my backpack's in the fire. <laughs> I can't do anything. I'm grabbing my backpack on the way out and tossing it into the plane. <laughs> yeah, I'm tossing it further. Yeah. For sure, well this is like, a swim cap, I'm kind of into swimming. And it's signed by Michael Phelps. Whoa, that's and pretty sick. Like, yeah, and then like the second guy who has the second most medals this is like you can kind of see eight gold medals wow. and one Olympics, and then seven gold medals and one Olympics. That's that guy. That's really and cool. Both, yeah, and they both signed it. So I think maybe that, but I mean, but it would definitely be something that has like sentimental value rather than like monetary. Oh, uh, definitely. Alright guys, so I think my cookie dough batter is just about done. It looks it looks pretty cookie doughy to me. This one turned out a lot better than the first time around. I didn't break my mixer. Bro, the first time my mixer started like like flaming. It had like smoke coming out of it. It was really bad. <laughs> You're doing something wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I definitely like did a lot of things that I wasn't supposed to with that. Wait, are you using the same mixer or are you just hand stirring? No, I'm using or the same mixer. I mixed and then right. I hand stirred. So that one came out a lot better looking. Um, let's go ahead and grab my cooking spray. We gotta spray this bad boy up. And then we're going to start making the s'mores. Um, 
All right, Jerry, I got a kind of an interesting question for you. Okay. So between you, the people that have been on the show already, so you, me, Jordan, Nicoletta, um, both the Nesses, and Nick, who do you think would be the first to die in a zombie apocalypse? Uh, did you say Nicoletta? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then, who do you think would be like the one to survive the longest? Uh, uh, am I in this? Yeah, you're in this. Oh, me for sure. I was definitely, I was definitely thinking you were Nick when I was writing that question. Yeah, I don't know, cause like, oh, not, no, no discredit to the other people. Like, they'd survive a long time. But def you're, you're definitely like more of an outdoorsy type of person. <laughs> yeah. You know how to do funny. things. I'd be like, how the. Do I start a fire and you'd be like, Dude, like in the corner? That is so funny you said that. Before you FaceTime me, I was watching a video of how to start a fire in the forest. Oh really? That is so weird. Like literally, like I was watching a video. You're preparing. Like, I know how to. I know how to do it. Now. You're prepping. I think they're too big. I think I'm supposed to make them smaller. You could. You could. Oh man, that would've been good if you had like the little mini marshmallows, because then you could like. Well, so the instructions said to cut them in half. So I cut okay. the marshmallow in half. So that's, they're already like smaller than they are. Bro, I'm breaking all these graham crackers. I'm not good at things. Oh my gosh, bro. They're perforated. Okay, Whew. I don't know how to cut a graham cracker. Um, we're only gonna make six cookies, <laughs> but they're gonna be jumbo cookies. Hey, you watch Rick and Morty, yeah? I only watched like the first like two and a half seasons, I think. But I am a big fan, I love them. Do you uh, believe in like the concept of a parallel universe? I think the world would be a lot more interesting if there was one. I think so too. I like I believe in ghosts, like I believe in everything. Bro, these are turning out pretty uh pretty messy, not gonna lie. Oh shoot, I never preheated the oven. I should probably do that. Alright, I preheat the oven preheated I put the oven on preheat at 375 degrees. <laughs> okay. It tastes delicious. Bro, I don't know how these are going to turn out, to be honest. I feel like you can't mess up, like, s'mores and cookie, cookies, you know? Dude, s'mores by themselves, I can only have one, and I'm like, oh, okay, okay, I guess. <laughs> I've got another sort of, like, hippie-ish question, I guess. So, obviously, technology is rapidly, like, increasing or developing, I guess. Um, yeah. So, how long do you think it is before somebody invents teleportation? Uh, Do you think teleportation would ever be, like, like, real? Well, not teleportation. I'm thinking, like, time travel. Okay, let's let's just go with teleportation oh, first. okay. Yeah. Well, I'd rather there would be time travel. Well, I don't know. The, the consequences of time travel would be scary. I don't think uh, time travel would ever be, like, allowed to be open to the public. So, it's like, no, how yeah. are you going to stop like, someone from going back? Exactly. That's, and that was going to be my point, like, to... Um, Teleportation and yeah, time travel too. Um, like I think it, if it does exist already, like the government obviously has that. Yeah, they're keeping it under wraps. Exactly, and like, dude, who knows? They might already like be taking advantage of that stuff. You know, like I feel like time travel could be possible though, because when we have already like seen somebody from the future come back, you know. Yeah. This is really good. Are you just eating it though? Yeah. <laughs> Me... You're not gonna have any dough to cover the s'mores. No, they're covered already. Oh, they are? Yeah, they're huge. Give me some of that dough. <laughs> Look at it, bro. Look at how big these cookies ended up. Oh my god, this is massive. They're huge because they made the s'mores too big, so these are gonna be like cookie pies. <laughs> Dude. Alright, so we got we got my cookies in the oven. Um, Let me go and set the timer. It cooks for 16, what is it, 16 to 18 minutes? Yeah, so I'm gonna put it for 16 minutes, and then we're gonna pull it out and eat those. But in the meantime, Jerry, on this show, on TNT with T, we always end the segment by doing uh, favorite questions, like a speed round. So okay. I'm going to go and pull those up. You have 45 seconds to answer these, as, as many as possible, as fast as possible. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Favorite ride at the carnival? Um, Ferris wheel. Favorite thing to do at the beach? Um, play football around. Favorite breed of dog? Golden Retriever. Favorite natural disaster? <laughs> um, a small earthquake that didn't harm anybody. <laughs> Favorite reptile? Uh, 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 I don't know any, uh, alligator? Is that a reptile? I think that's a reptile. Favorite thing okay. in the sky? Um, clouds. Favorite color, rose? Um, red. Favorite sport to watch in person? 
Uh, ooh, uh, basketball, I think. Favorite cool. age. Age? Oh, that's time. Yeah, favorite age. <laughs> like, what age is your a favorite? Eighteen plus. <laughs> <laughs> Just putting that out there. All right, y'all. So that was Jerry's speed round. You have to learn a little bit more about him. I'm going to go ahead and do what I do and put a little clip right here of me trying those since we don't want to wait the 16 minutes. Just like, boop. So it's about 17 minutes later and, yep, they're huge. So this is fresh out of the oven. The marshmallow stuff is like oozing out of the top. Uh, they're a little bit burnt around the bottom, my bad, y'all. But they're ginormous. Like, we get like, look at them compared to the size of my hand. They're like, I don't know, they're that big. They're big. So my cookies finally cooled down enough. I chose this one because I think it was the prettiest. Look, you can still kind of see the graham cracker outline at the bottom. I don't really know what's going on, so we're just we're just gonna dig in. First bite. All right, so my first bite was all cookie. I think uh, they've gotten huge. I think it's all cookie like on the outsides, and you gotta get to the inside to actually have the um, s'mores. You can kind of see the graham cracker and the chocolate outline right here. I think I think that's what it is. Ooh, that's really good. Mmm. I've never made homemade cookies either. So the cookie itself, delicious. So check it out. The uh, marshmallow kind of like absorbed into the cookie. So all right here, it's not, it's like marshmallow cookie. It's really interesting, but it tastes so good. Definitely make them yourself. Try it out. I've died and gone to heaven. That's it. Wow, I really think those were delicious. I think they're good. All right, guys, that was this segment of TNT with T. Thank you so much, Jerry, for being on it with us. Thank you for sharing parts of your life with the viewers. It's been great getting <laughs> to know you. Um, we're going to redo it again with all the people during the COVID situation in person so they can be here eating the cookie dough, making it with me and stuff. Should be much, much more fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed this nonetheless. If you did, go ahead and leave a like down below. It really helps me out, y'all. Let me know you guys like what I'm making. Subscribe to my channel to get more yeah, content yeah. like this. Yeah, hit that button, bro. Subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications so you don't miss a Wednesday or Sunday upload. And I'll catch you guys on Sunday with another new challenge vlog thingy. Alright guys, peace out. Uh -huh.